So they move onto the chase course, face up to the starter, and they're off. Day three of the festival gets underway with the Grade 1 Marsh Novices Chase. Two and a half miles is the trip. Fusil Raffles will get the first call. Chamblou on his outside as they go over the first fence. They're all safely over. At the back of the field is Black Bow. They cross over the downhill section of the course and on towards fence number two, also taken on the centre line. And it is Fusil Raffles who will have the lead on the inside to Chamblou over in second. And out wide, Little Keen is Chantry House in third. And then towards the inside rail is Chatham Street Lad, who's racing just to the inside of Envoi Allen. And then there's a break of a length and a half to Asterian Falange, who races just in advance of Darva Star. And the back marker is Black Bow. And now they have quite a long run down the hill before they encounter the first of the four plane fences taken in the home straight. Fusil Raffles, Daryl Jacob, they've now got a clear lead of a couple of lengths over Shan Blue and Harry Skelton. To their outside, Chantry House and Nico de Boinville racing in third position as they rise at fence number three. Envoi Allen jumped it in a share of fourth on the outside of Chatham Street Lad. Then the grey, Asterian Falange, who has a break of a couple of lengths back to Darva Star. And the back marker is Black Bow as they go the next. And down is Envoi Allen. Envoi Allen has fallen at fence number four. He is very quickly up on his feet. He seems to be perfectly okay. And just getting to his feet now is a desolate Jack Kennedy as they now race on towards the next plane fence. Fence five, Fusil Raffles the leader, reaching for it in second place, Shan Blue. And then Chantry House on the outside of Chatham Street Lad and Asterian Falange. And this will be the final fence in another circuit's time, and they are all safely over. And so they now have a long run before they encounter fence number seven, which is taken in the back straight. And it is Fusil Raffles who leads the way by nearly two lengths to Shan Blue racing in second, a further couple of lengths to Chantry House, who is in third. And in fourth place is Chatham Street Lad. And then Asterian Falange and weighted with a both Black Bow and also Darva Star as they now race just slightly downhill at this point on into the wings of fence number seven. Fusil Raffles comes to it, measured it beautifully. The leader, so too his nearest pursuer, Shan Blue. And these two now are just beginning to press on. Chantry House, a shake of the reins from Nico de Boinville. There's been a real injection of pace here as they go to the water jump by Harry Skelton. He's really taken this race by the scruff of the neck as they've made the run down the back straight. And Shan Blue now is out in front by a length and a half. To Fusil Raffles racing in second. And that injection of pace has caught one or two of them out. Shan Blue, another great jump there as he crossed over that open ditch the first open ditch in the race, and Shan Blue now leads by three and a half lengths to Fusil Raffles, once again pinpoint accurate over the next fence number ten. That was Shan Blue clear by four to Fusil Raffles and Chantry House, and then on the inside, Chatham Street Lad, and then Asterian Falange and Black Bow and Darva Star is totally outpaced over the final open ditch as they continue their journey on towards the top of the hill in the eleventh running of the Marsh Novice Chase, and it is Shan Blue, the winner of the Corto Star at Christmas, who now goes on towards the fence right on the summit. And he led there by five lengths to Fusil Raffles in second. Chantry House has been out of his comfort zone now for over half a mile, but he's still there pitching in third. A steering for Lange, trying to make ground around the outside of Chatham Street Lad. A break then of five lengths back to Black Bow. And this is the fence right at the top of the hill on the start of the descent. And Chamblou didn't get terribly high. And he steals a peak, Harry Skelton. He's still got a lead of five lengths over Daryl Jacob on Fusil Raffles and now they freewheel. They freewheel down towards the third from home in the marsh and Shan Blue still has the lead but he's got a host of pursuers in behind him in second Fusil Raffles in third Chantry House a mistake in fourth by Chatham Street Lad and then a steering Falange and now tailing off his Black Bow and so too Darva Star and they're about to make the turn back towards home and Shan Blue is now reeled in. His lead is now being been whittled away to only two lengths. Chantry House now raises his game towards the outside. A stable mate, Fusil Raffles. On the wide outside, a Styrian Falange towards the inside. Chatham Street Lad is now looking for racing room. They're over the second last, and Fusil Raffles and Chantry House are one two at this point for Nicky Henderson. And they now go on by two and a half lengths to Asterian Falange. They come to the final fence. Chantry House and Nico de Boinville out in front. A peck on landing from Fusil Raffles in second. Now with two lengths to fire. 
behind, a steering for Longe is back in third, but as they race inside the final half furlong, it is Chantry House and Nico de Boinville pulling clear on the run to the line, and Chantry House has taken the Mask Novices chase in a 1-2 for Nicky Henderson, Fusil Raffles was in second, a steering for Longe in third, and in fourth came Chatham Street Lad.